What do they do with all that poo? Written by Jane Kurtz, illustrated by Alison Black and published by Simon & Schuster. Any book with poo in the title, poo in the story, poo in the illustrations or really anything to do with poo gets some little readers very excited. So I think some of you are going to really like this book. Now, this is a special book because it is a story, it's a picture book, but it's also a non-fiction book, an information book. So at the top of the pages, it's like the story, the rhyming part. And at the bottom of the pages, they have pieces of information. So I am going to read just the top bits first, and then we will go back and read the information, find out lots more about poo. What do they do with all that poo? At zoo after zoo, the ch animals chew. And then they poo. Giraffe poo looks like marbles as it drops a long, long way. Panda poo is full of bamboo. Pandas eat and poo all day. A hippo sprays a shower with its flipping, flapping tail. To weigh a day of an elephant's poo, you need a sturdy scale. Rhinos can communicate through piles and piles of scat. A lion sometimes buries poo like any other cat. Sloths creep down from trees to poo, but only once a week. A penguin shoots its poo out in a fishy smelling streak. A wombat's poo is cube shaped, so it isn't very rolly. Some snakes poo only once a year. They digest their food slowly. Hyenas crunch up lots of bones. That's why their poo is white. Bat poo has undigested bugs. Bats poo all day and night. So what do zoos do with all that poo? They sweep it and hose it and toss it each day. A lot goes in lorries to be trucked away. They send some to vets and to scientists too. Then zoo poo is studied to help out the zoo. They pile some in towers and toss it with rakes. It soon will be compost for gardeners to take. First, worms like to munch it, and then we're all set for worm poo plus zoo poo grows perfect courgettes. They even make paper from elephant poo. Zoo poo paper's pretty, not smelly, it's true. Oh, look! Duck! Huh. That monkey at the zoo just threw its poo at you. Lots of poo. Let's find out some more information though about poo. So 
I hope you enjoyed the story. Now let's get some facts about Pooh. Right back at the beginning. Remember, we started with this one, introducing that at the zoo. Funnily enough, animals poo. Poo is made of mostly water, but also bacteria and bits of undigested food. Animal poo goes by a lot of different names. Some of the names were in the story, including manure, scat, droppings, dung, castings, and goanna. A giraffe has four stomachs, so it digests its food very efficiently. That means a giraffe needs to eat a lot less than most herbivores, which is why its droppings are so small. Pandas digest only 17% of the bamboo that they eat, and the leaves and stems pass through their systems very quickly. So panda poo looks like a green mass of partly digested bamboo, and it doesn't stink. Hippos use dung showering to mark their territories and warn off predators. They shoot their dung out while flapping their tails to spray it around. Ooh. An elephant can eat around 140 kilograms of leaves and grasses a day and then dump about 75 kilograms of poo. To help you think about that, a football weighs just under half a kilogram. Now I was going to say that they dump about 75 grams of poo and that's more than I weigh. That's a lot of poo. Each rhino's poo has its unique smell. Rhinos smell dung to gather information about one another. Cats, big and little, often bury their poo so it won't be detected by animals, sorry, by enemies. But sometimes lions and tigers leave poo unburied as a warning that this is their territory. Why do sloths spend so much energy leaving the protection of trees to poo on the ground? It's a mystery that scientists are trying to solve. Maybe if you're really interested in animals and poo, maybe that's something that you might want to do. Try and investigate and find out why do they? They're very lazy. They spend a lot of time up in trees and yet they come down the trees to do their poos. Penguins don't have teeth, so as one zookeeper says, fish go through them fairly rapidly. Scientists have studied the force it takes for a penguin to shoot its bright white fishy guano so far. And I'm not sure that I pronounced that guano correctly, so I am sorry if I have got that wrong, scientists. Wombats are highly territorial. They each deposit 80 to a hundred droppings every evening as signposts to say, I'm here. It helps to have a square signpost that doesn't roll away. Snakes. One study showed that it took a python five and a half days to digest a rat. Because their bodies are so efficient, snakes poo less than almost any other animals. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing from somebody that's a, not a snake lover. I don't know whether that's good or bad. The calcium in bones is what makes dried hyena poo white and why hyena poo can easily turn into a fossil. Bats turn right side up to do their poo so they don't get any on themselves. Very clean of them. A bat can eat up to 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour. Many bats also eat insects with shiny outer coverings that don't get digested, which makes the bat's poo sparkly. Hmm. So what do zoos do with all of that poo? A zoo might have to deal with more than 2,270 kilograms of poo each day. Keeping it around would make zoos pretty smelly, 
So some of them pay thousands of pounds or dollars a year to send it off in trucks to landfills. Doctors and vets study poo to see how well an animal is digesting its food and to spot health problems. Some zoos are experimenting with using poo to produce big biogas that can power buildings or vehicles like a zoo hospital. So using poo for something useful. Compost, made from herbivore poo mixed with food waste and grass clippings, improves soil and helps plants grow. Zoos sell or give away compost using creative names like zoo manu, zoo do, and patchy poo. Carnivore poo can be spread around yards to keep deer from eating plants and trees. Worms. Worms are an important part of the zoo poo composting process. They can eat hundreds of kilograms of organic matter every week. Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, America, sells worm do made from zoo do compost and zoo coffee grounds. The zoo says it's been pooed once by exo exotic herbivores and pooed again by compost loving worms. So that would be really, really good compost to have because it's been pooed twice. Elephant poo comes out with so much plant fibre that a machine can wash the poo and pull out the fibre, which can then be used to make paper and cards. Which is brilliant. And I do know that because I have a notebook for keeping little notes in for writing that is made from elephant poo. And it's actually very, very strong, very good paper. Whoa, look, yikes! Duck! That monkey at the zoo just threw its poo at you! Wow! What do they do with all that poo? Well, hopefully you enjoyed the story and you know lots and lots and lots and lots and lots more about poo.